the termination of transcription is a normal and important function during uh, uh, termination and it normally takes place at the end of uh, uh, gene or genes if the transcription involves more than one gene however an unusual termination may be triggered by abnormal or damaged dna or by other and unanticipated hindrances so if there is any uh, 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 problem in the dna dna is damaged or uh, something uh, other uh, happens unusual to the dna the uh, transcription normally terminates there so this is unusual process but normally tra transcription has to be terminated at some point the sequences called terminators trigger the elongating polymerase to dissociate from the dna and release the rna chain it has synthesized so there are some specific sequences in the dna and these sequences are called terminators in bacteria terminators come in two types they are of two types that is rho dependent and rho independent rho is a factor which is uh, involved in transcription the first requires a protein called rho to induce termination so in the case of rho dependent termination uh, rho is a protein which brings about termination while in the second case that is rho independent termination the termination uh, uh, doesn't involve any other factor rho dependent terminators have rather ill defined rna elements and these ill defined r elements are called rut sites so there are uh, uh, some ill defined sites uh, on the rna and these sites are called rut sites the work of these sites require the action of rho vector so uh, 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 these sites have to be uh, active they need rho factor rho uh, is a ring shaped protein uh, like this uh, with six identical subunits so this protein is like this and uh, uh, there are six subunits 1 2 3 4 5 6 so they form a ring like structure uh, and it binds to the single stranded rna and to that rna which is exiting the polymerase so the rna after synthesis exit the polymerase and that uh, uh, transcription uh, complex and this rho binds to that uh, rna the protein also has an atpase activity and once attached to the transcript rho uses the energy derived from atp hydrolysis to induce termination so this termination by rho uh, is uh, triggered by the atp hydrolysis and the atp hydrolysis generates that energy which is required for the termination the precise mechanism of termination remains to be determined and uh, the models how are the models which explain it uh, uh, may be uh, of uh, three types for example uh, the first model uh, uh, describes that rho pushes polymerase forward relative to the dna and rna so uh, if uh, uh, polymerase is present in some uh, site this rho pushes this polymerase uh, uh, somewhat forward on this uh, uh, rna transcript uh, dna transcript and rna chain so it moves like this and it results in the uh, termination in a manner analogous to the termination by the protein trcf trcf is transcription repair coupling factor so uh, uh, it works uh, this rho mechanism works just like trcf rho binds double stranded dna upstream of the polymerase and 
translocates along the DNA until it collides the RNA polymerase. So it binds uh, to the DNA upstream and then it translocates along the DNA strand. And uh, 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 as it translocates, it finally collides with the polymerase which is present uh, uh, at some site. And in this way, it pushes the polymerase forward. The collision pushes polymerase forward, causing dissociation of the ternary complex of RNA polymerase, template DNA and the transcript RNA. So, in the transcription uh, complex, which is a ternary complex and three uh, substances are present in this complex. One is uh, double-stranded uh, DNA, the other one is this polymerase and the third one is newly synthesized RNA. So, this ternary uh, complex uh, is uh, dissociated after the collision of RHO factor.